Hello everyone. Today I will show you which are the best tags for each individual legend. As always guys, if you like this video, make sure to drop a like so we can can help YouTube algorithm to push this video even further. And now let's go, let's start with the Bloodhound. For the perks, I will go with Hunger, knocking down an enemy reset the cool down for Eye of the Old Father. This is incredibly useful, especially when fighting multiple enemies, basically you can scan locate the enemy, knock him down and use the scan again right away without any cooldown to search the rest of the squad. I chose the interrogator as my finisher because it shows you the location of your enemy's team on the minimap every time you use a finisher, great way to have complete control over the battlefield at all times. Affordability, if you're a solo player, I recommend going with an ending bloodlust, but if you are a team player who likes to have as much information as possible on hand and share with your squad, I'll definitely use mortal wisdom, when combined with your tactical, your ultimate shows the health and armor of your enemy, but it no longer increases your speed. Let's move to give, I'll choose the fancy supplies for the perks. You will start a match with a shield battery and medicate, allowing you to focus on finding a weapon first which is what you should always do. However, you won't have to worry about your health or shield during the first few crucial minutes of the game. Later on, when unlocked, I would definitely suggest to switch to SARS Sarah I mean to protocol. The dome of protection can be used while knocked down, but the duration is decreased. I think a lot of top players will choose this because it can save your life, blocking those fatal boosts bullets from your enemies before having you rescued by your mates or you can just buy you some extra time so you can hide behind a cover for the finisher. I will go for deadly momentum using your finisher, will reduce the ultimate cooldown by 30%. We know the 270 seconds cooldown of Gibby ultimate is a pain and this finisher will help you a lot in cutting those seconds. I choose the ability bomb proof, which also turn your dome protection into a heat shield. This is great if you're engaged in a combat outside the ring or you are stuck in the red zone and you need to heal without being damaged by it. Moving on to lifeline. I'll start with integration perk reviving a squad mate destroys an additional 25 health for both of you. You should also remember to drop your healing drone after reviving your mate for even more healing for the finisher. I stick with the team checkup using a finisher causing a special healing drone at your location. Useful if you are lonely, health, you don't have time to heal, or you want to save your med kits. For the ability, I will go with a surplus supply care package, contain an additional item and loot boxes may also contain an additional item. This can help you and your teammates, especially towards the end of the match, giving you a huge advantage over your enemies. Now it's about finding the time. Let's start with the perks grapple enthusiasts, in my opinion is the best choice. Scanning a survey, becoming permanently and a repeat permanently pedals the cooldown of the grappling hook for a legend, the grappling is everything and is used in every scenario possible from pushing to escaping. This is a must, like for Bloodhound. Even in this case, I will go for the interrogator as finisher. Like I said at the beginning, the grapple is everything for Pathfinder. For that I will go with extra pad. If you stay aborn for a few seconds while using the grapple landing will trigger a speed boost. This, in combination with the reduced cooldown of the grapple from the Enthusiast Park, will allow you to move around like Spider-Man. Now, let's move to Wraith. I will focus on increased hair movement speed so for the perks. I will choose Phantom Football which slightly increased movement speed when not holding a weapon great for pushing enemies. Quick positioning or escaping dangerous situations as for finisher. I'll go for tactical advantage using your finisher charger tactical therefore the ability I'm kind of disappointed because each of them have some really big downsides compared to abilities from other legends but still. I will go for face haste. Movement speed within the void increases, but the duration decreases. And for Bangalore, we absolutely love her small clincher tactical which is incredibly helpful in any situation. To make it even better. Let's give it the fog of warp which lets you see enemies in smoke when aiming downsize is fixed the one issue we had with her tactical which was the inability to see enemies in the smoke the tactical advantage is the best option for her as a finisher and for the ability. I will choose smoke screen because it allows you to use the smoke launcher even while knocked down. 
This is a very useful ability that can save your life because you can use it to cover your teammates while they are reviving you or to throw it at your enemies and hide behind a close cover. In the meantime, the toxic guy turn caustic. Let's start with the tags. I'll go for healing. Catalyst. The effect of healing items is increased and reviving. Elissa is quicker while standing in gas, something similar to Gibby Bubble Battle Steroids. For the finisher, I use the tactical advantage. Using your finisher charge your tactical and for the ability I suggest to use a spreading plague. Nox. Gas grenades last longer, but the gas radius starts off small and decreased gradually over time. Longer duration of the gas means more chances for you to damage your enemies, and it will keep them busy for longer means you will have more time to plan your next move. In the meantime, Mirage, turn. For the Paxa Mast is there a tweet and being revived clocks both you and your squad mate. We already know that we can do that when we revive someone with Mirage thanks to his passive ability. In this case, even your mates will be able to do it if they revive you. For the finisher, Etitlev is the way to go. Using your finisher creates a decoy and clocks for 2 seconds, or until you should. For example, if they fire at you right away after you use your finisher on an enemy user will confuse them long enough for you to take the appropriate countermeasures. And for the ability, I will go with for my first impression, your ultimate creates decoys of one of your squad mates. Great way to confuse your enemies even more. Now, let's go to the speed and movement King October and let's increase the speed even further. For the perks, I'll go with Bamano. When your armor shutters gain a speed boost, for the finisher, I use going. Using your finisher will increase your movement speed by 30% for 3 seconds but ability if you want to keep boosting your movement speed, go for stunt mode. Steam can be turned on or off and will continue to boost speed and cause damage it automatically turns off if your health drops too low. This ability combined with bomblos and going on will allow you to fly around in the battlefield dodging bullets and pushing enemies like crazy. If you like to take a slow approach, running on air is also a good choice. You can jump an additional time after using your jump pad, so it means you can do a total of 3 jumps great for each even higher ground for better positioning and escaping from your enemy's paid time. For the perks, I'll go for lingering shadow surge leaves behind after images the squad mate can touch for a speed boost a great support pair for the entire team for the finisher. I'll go for tactical advantage and for the ability. The best choice is phase eco flashback leaves behind after images the squad mates can touch for a speed boost this way combination of park finisher and mobility will greatly support and increase your squad movement speed. And we already know that speed is everything in Apex and now Loba I love her perks starting with Ares, which allows you to see dead boxes containing high tier loot 2 walls when combined with a passive iPhone quality, you will always be aware of the location of the best loot and one step ahead of your enemies. Now let's look at one of the most useful abilities in the game Illegal Trade. You can loot your squadmate banners from your black market The market range is approximately 140 meters so basically you can grab your mate's banners without exposing your location from a safe zone for that. For the finisher, I go with deadly momentum using your finish to reduce your ultimate cooldown by 30% you never know when your current balance will need to be picked up. So I want to have the black market available as quickly as possible listen up rapidly tactical is the best to support tactical in the game so with this combo we'll show you right now I will boost it to another level modern control is the best pair for absolutely what makes affected by your tactical temporarily gain gifted ear allowing them to hear enemy footsteps from farther away insane I want to have my tactical always ready so for the finisher I always equip tactical advantage you will charge your tactical every time you use a finisher and now for the ability I go for harmony while in the sound wave state of the tactical skill the effect of using healing items is increased and the rise speed is accelerated now guys let's move on crypto self-destruct destroyed drones explode after 3s slowing and damaging enemies caught in the blast Interrogator, using the finisher reveals the location of the player's enemy's squad on the mini-map. Lag bomb, drones can launch an emp bomb that slows and deals damage. With this combination we have the most powerful insane sick tactical in the game don't be surprised if they accuse you of hacking after using this combination of skills. If you watched the entire video congratulations guys, thank you so much.
If you only saw your main legend, that's okay too. I still love you. I but no matter what, please leave a like so that we can push this video even further. As always, guys, stay tuned for my next video.